Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany, I'm a licensed nail technician and here on my channel, I like to discuss anything nail related, nail business talk, tutorials, and DIY. Here in this video, I'm going to be doing unboxing for a silicone practice hand that I found on Amazon. So I actually found this hand on Amazon for $60 and I wanted to see um, the quality of it compared to like, you know, other practice hands that are silicone and realistic looking are like over $200. So I'm going to go ahead and check this out and let you guys know what I think about it. I will leave this link down below and you can just check out my Amazon storefront where it's located. Okay. So it's saying it's a vivid mold. It's, you can bend it and I guess this is just meaning it can put, you can put nails on it. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> um, here on the back, It shows different things with some little tips for it. Seeing that you can use nail glue and acetone on the finger, you just cannot use a hard gel, um, but that's fine. All right, so let's get to the good part. Let's open this box up. Okay, so we got some nail tips. We got our hand. Feels very sturdy. <laughs> okay, here's what the hand looks like. It does look very, um, Okay, it doesn't look very realistic, but it looks pretty realistic compared to like, I have to bring out my other hand. Like, <laughs> the plastic ones. If you guys know what I'm talking about, like you get it when you're in school, they're like the worst of the worst. They don't bend. But this one's pretty legit. It just looks like, you know, this hand backhand at someone, but it's okay, or punch someone, but that's fine. So you're able to mold the fingers and pose them. Okay, I'm gonna set this to the side. So I got the version that screws onto the desk and doesn't suction cup to the desk because I just feel like this is way more sturdy and I actually use this for like my desk tripod. So you just connect all of this. So the hand goes on here and this goes on here. So let's just Connect that and then we just turn this and tighten it. Okay. And so this part right here just goes onto the hand. Okay, now I have my hand connected and I could just clamp it to the desk. All right, so I have my hand connected to the desk now. I can straighten out the fingers. I guess you can even leave them like crooked if you wanna practice like <laughs> putting nails on the hands and you know, getting the nail tip straight even if the fingers, you know, are a little crooked, but that's okay. Here's what the sidewalls look like close up. You can see that it's a little like cut off at the tip on the pointer finger and on the other ones it's not like that. I don't know, it looks a little funky, but whatever. Here are the nail tips that came with the hand, but um, I'm not gonna end up using these for the video for like the tutorial. I just wanted to show you, and I am putting these in upside down <laughs> because the space on the bottom is just too wide to go into the nail and it like stretches out the side. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. So here I'm just gonna use these like extra long nail tips that I got off Amazon years ago that I've managed to never actually use, but these will come in handy for the practice hand because you can just shove the nail all the way in and then you still have an actual nail left out that you can design with acrylic or gel. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and put all of the nails and all of the fingers. I just wanted to try one originally, but I'm like, you know, we have to do a whole hand. We can't just do one finger for the video. And while I'm doing this, comment below and let me know what we should name this hand. I feel like she should have a name. I don't know what yet, but I am open to ideas. So comment something below. Okay, I don't wanna leave these nails stiletto, so I'm gonna cut them down. I'm gonna make them more of like a tapered square, almost coffin-y shape. And for today's nail design, we're just gonna do something very simple, nothing crazy in depth. We're just gonna do an ombre, and I'm gonna go in, and I'm gonna try this method where you just use like a gel on the base, and then you use the acrylic to ombre it up. We're gonna see how that works. Um, but this is gonna be focused more on just how the hand works with you or if it works against you while you're using it. Now that I have the gel on all of my fingers, I'm just gonna go ahead and put my hand in the lamp and cure that for 60 seconds. All right, and I'm just gonna go in with the Kiar Sky, a little foxy cover acrylic. We're gonna use this for the ombre. I'll be pairing this with the Mia Secret uh, monomer. I always use this whenever I'm practicing or doing a tutorial. All right, guys, <laughs> you can see I'm struggling with this acrylic right now. So this is the downfall of mixing different products. Like sometimes it doesn't work well together. And also um, the D&D &D always has like a very like odd finish. You know, it's like, oh, I guess because it's like the three in one or whatever. But anyways, the acrylic is not laying on that easily. So I would have used a clear acrylic over top of the brown and then put the cover over top. So that way the ombre would be even smoother. So, you know, just let this be a learning experience for all of us. Once again, this is mainly focused on how the hand's gonna work with us and not so much about my horrible application skills for this like mini tutorial. <laughs> For the thumb, I'm gonna do something a little different. So I'm gonna take this loose glitter from Kiara Sky and I'm gonna take some clear acrylic and I'm just gonna ombre the thumb with a glitter. This glitter is so pretty. I've been dying to use it. I was at Cosmo Prof and I saw the new setup there with all of the Kiara Sky products. I was like, okay, I'm gonna get it perfect for fall. So we're gonna try it out. Let me know what you think below. You can also get this online if you're not a beauty professional uh, like license because in Cosmoprof, you know, you have to have your license and so on and so on. And just going back in with a little foxy cover acrylic to just ombre that down into the glitter. You guys see how smooth this is going <laughs> compared to the brown. Oh my gosh, that brown was giving me a, such a hard time. So overall, this thumb application was very easy and it feels pretty realistic. If your client was sitting with a really relaxed hand, how it should be, <laughs> it feels very similar to that. So yeah, okay, I'm liking this so far. Here's the finished look for the thumb, little glitter ombre. I'm just gonna take the clear acrylic and go in and cap off the whole nail now to just seal in that uh, brown glitter. I mean, oops, <laughs> to seal in the brown gel, girl. Get it together. You guys know what I meant, right? <laughs> Okay, now that I'm done using the acrylic for the nail, I'm gonna go in with one last thing. I wanted to add some details to the tips because, you know, that ombre was not giving, it was a mess. So we're just gonna go in with a darker uh, brown gel and add some swirls to the tips. And with the swirls, as you can see, I'm just adding it. I'm beginning the swirls right at the uh, where the ombre begins. So it will cover up all of my mistakes and make it look more put together. Mm -hmm. 
Now that we're finished up with the swirls, we're just gonna go ahead, put it in the lamp for 60 seconds to cure, and then we're gonna take them back out and finish up with the top coat. So you can see here how easy it is for me to rotate the finger, and it is pretty realistic. Um, you know, it's very flexible, but yet it's a little stiff. It, it does mimic a human hand, so I would say this is a good hand to practice with. The only parts that's gonna make it feel not so realistic is that the fingers, you know, you have to keep moving them out of the way. But other than that, I, I would suggest practicing with this hand, yeah. All right, guys, here's the finished look. Let me know what you think. At the end of your design, all you can do is just pop off the nails, save your design if you want to, and start over fresh. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.